Let's begin, though, with the big meeting between the leaders of South Korea, the U.S. and Japan. They held talks at their first Northeast Asia security dinner on Thursday on the sidelines of the G20 Leader Summit in Hamburg. Although they have spoken over the phone, it was the first time for President Moon Jae-in to meet Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe face to face. Our Blue House correspondent Moon Gon Yong files this report from Germany. Hamburg is a beautiful city often referred to as a gateway to Germany. It's a large tidal harbor and one of Europe's most important cultural and commercial centers. Although not as pleasant with thousands of protesters clashing with the police, it is here that the leaders of the world's 20 biggest economic powers are gathering for a two-day summit ostensibly about financial stability, but increasingly looking like North Korea will steal the spotlight. In one of his first acts of official business in Germany's second larger city, President Moon Jae-in attended the Northeast Asia security dinner along with U.S. President Donald Trump and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. It marked the first trilateral summit since Mr. Moon and Trump took office in May and January, respectively, and comes in the heels of a missile launch by North Korea, one that some speculate may be an intercontinental ballistic missile. First and foremost, on North Korea's nuclear issue, the three leaders saw eye to eye on the need to put even more pressure on North Korea by swiftly drawing up a harsher than ever UN Security Council resolution. China, the three leaders believe, can and should do much more to rein in its military ally. The three leaders focused on the importance of China's role in resolving North Korea's nuclear problem and agreed to make the most out of the bilateral and multilateral meetings during the G20 period to get Beijing and Russia to ratchet up pressure on Pyongyang. A high-level official with the South Korean government quoted U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson's remarks of a peaceful pressure campaign when explaining to reporters the nature of the more powerful sanctions. Peaceful pressure, the official said, refers to financial sanctions and getting other countries to add more economic pressure on the Kim Jong-un regime so as to starve North Korea of hard currency. South Korean President Moon Jae-in still has a series of one-on-ones lined up throughout the summit. And with North Korea dominating the G20 scene, the next few days will shape up to be the biggest diplomatic test of Mr. Moon's young presidency. Moon Gon-young, Arirang News, Hamburg.